Hola amigos de TV Agro. Hello friends of TV Agro. My name is Julio Cesar Rodriguez. I'm in the breeding farm Don Leonardas in Chipaki. Today I'm going to show you the preparation that a horse has before an equine exhibition. Help me to know all this process. Bueno, el proceso de, de, del caballo criollo colombiano. The Colombian criollo horse and the potros from birth are prepared under the technique imprinting, which is developed so that they can acquire confidence and there is a socialization between horse and man. Ya, ya entramos a que el caballo comience a tornear solito. Secondly, we look for the horse to begin to turn on its own. This technique is developed around 12 and or 14 months of age. Ya lo seguimos trabajando where it is no longer depends on the mother. In this work, we look for the horse to begin to recognize the saddle. As well as to be able to unpick and break on its own. Then we begin to put the saddle on him so that he can feel our weight and energy. Almost all of us work with something called the Godfather. This technique consists of working with another horse that has more experience so that he can acquire more experience and confidence when going out to walk alone. Bueno, los obstáculos para... During the training, it is important that the horse does not acquire certain vices that are usually evidenced in its maturity stage. Such as biting, kicking or jumping when you ride him. Entonces es, es dejarlo es, y es quitarle todos esos vicios, pero con el mismo trabajo. The idea is to remove these vices through training and work without getting to the mistreatment. Since everything is achieved through patience and discipline, in this way we will remove any misbehavior from them. Bueno, entonces les voy a hablar de la, de la doma que trabajamos acá en el criadero Don Leonidas. I'm going to talk about the dressage we work with here at the Don Leonidas breeding farm, which is a rational dressage. This dressage is very different from the one used in the past. Con, mena, con menos dificultad para poder arrendarlos. That is, with less aggressiveness and with less difficulty when herding them. The idea of this dressage is that the horses are closer to us. It is important that they see us as a member and not as an enemy. Los cuidados del, del caballo de paso eh, son muy exigentes. So that they will perceive us as a leader of the herd. The care of the paso horse is very demanding. For example, during breakfast, which is at 6.30 in the morning, we give them concentrate. At 12 noon and at 6.30 in the afternoon, another ration of concentrate. Uh, todos los días. The hay should be given to them every day so that they can eat it at all times. Now, with respect to the water, we in the hatchery check in the morning, at noon and in the afternoon Por la tarde. Todos los días. that they have liquid and that, of course, the bucket is clean. So every day they should be washed. This is to avoid any disease. Acá en el criadero mantenemos un veterinario las 24 horas. In our kennel, we have a veterinarian 24 hours a day, 
to prevent our horses from suffering from colic, fever or mucus. As at this time is giving very hard all over the country. Of course the veterinarian is always attentive to the weighing of the animals and our caretaker is aware of the feeding the horses. For example, the cuidador, the one who looks at the animals, tells us that a horse may not have breakfast, so for that it's bad for us. And our caretaker is aware of the feeding of the horses. That is to say that if at any time the animal does not eat breakfast, the veterinarian must be notified so that he can check the animal to see if he is sick. Another fundamental issue is the care of the teeth. The dentistry of the animals and especially in these Paso horses, it is important to maintain the care of the edges of the molars. Eh, también el veterinario revisa... Check that the molars are well, are healthy. On the other hand, the veterinarian must also check the hooves of the animal, that there are no ailments in the arms, legs, back or any other ailment so that they can perform their work well in the tracks. Here at the Don Leonidas breeding farm, Acá en el criadero Don Leonidas eh, viene el herrero cada mes. Alferia comes every month to handle the issue of aplombs, ailments. En general, eh, él trabaja con una cámara térmica. Para... He usually works with a thermal camera to see any ailment that the horse may have under the hoof. Y de todo el de los brazos, de las patas. Or in the part of the pastons. He also constantly checks the arms and legs of the animal. De, de desaplomos que ellos tengan en... He helps us to correct all these types of ailments and umblums that they have in their posterior and anterior extremities. Unos días antes para la preparación de los caballos para su exposición equina. Days before the preparation of the horses for their equine exhibition, we here at the breeding farm handle multivitamins, eh, intravenosos y orales, intravenous and oral, as well as we increase a certain grammage to the daily concentrate para que ellos no se nos vayan a... so they do not lose weight, nor their energy is harmed during the competition. De ellos, en la en la competencia, sino que ellos a toda hora estén contentos. What we seek that at all times they are happy and show their best performance in the arena. Cuanto a la preparación del, del trabajo diario de los caballos. As for the preparation of the daily work of the horses, we put their respective saddle and rug, which is this. We put their respective saddle and rug. It will not carve the saddle to the mare and the pinion for more comfort of the time of riding. Ahora en el tema de, 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 de la embocadura y del bozal de la yegua. Regarding the muzzle and muzzle of the mare, here we are going to put a muzzle and a very soft chin. Igual el bozal, suave. A small brittle with a, with a bit of fillet. We are going to put the rein on the mare so that during the work it will be easy to direct her. At the moment of mounting the hair, the rider must show security so that it is reflected in the horse. We will always ride on the left side. Y con fuerza hacia arriba. 
interrupting with the left foot and with the strength upwards. Amigos de TV Agro, para mí fue un placer haber... Friends of TV Agro, it has been a pleasure for me to have explained and taught you about the preparation of Colombian Creole horse. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.